What's good YouTube? It's your boy Lucy Lost Fitness. Now today's video, what I want to talk to you guys about is my training split and how it's going so far. We are currently at the end of week five. We have to go hit a session right now, legs, and that will be week five complete. Um, so yeah, I thought you know what, pick up the camera. Let me talk to you guys about how the training program's going so far. Am I actually getting stronger? And am I gonna keep going with it for the next? week six so then we've got six more weeks so that's seven weeks left of the training program because i always do whenever i do a program i always like to keep it for like 12 to 16 weeks and then switch it up a little bit if i like it i'll carry on going but yeah again this is the first time me tracking everything rest period you know the reps the sets you know and the weight it's the first time i've ever done that um so yeah when i come back from the gym i'm gonna go gym now bang out this leg session i know it's gonna hurt it's gonna be painful probably won't be able to walk tomorrow but i'm feeling kind of ill as you can tell by my voice so i thought you know, let me go break a sweat you know i don't like missing the gym it kind of messes up my schedule so i'm going regardless i'm probably not gonna pee on everything you know try and get better i'm always trying to get better but yeah let's just see how the session goes and when we come back we'll talk about the training program and where we're at right now so let's go to the gym yeah Come on! So we are here, um, gonna warm up for a little bit. Um, music's pretty loud here, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna probably have to do a voiceover. Um, but yeah, right now, it's gonna warm up, do a bit of skipping, a couple of reps with the deadlift bar and then get into the workout. That's the plan. Let's do this, hopefully I get 200 kg today. I'm smelling it. I smell the 200 kg, I'm rocking out my protein. Wee, this is soft, I love this material. Legit, my protein, you're doing things. You're doing things. Well, here we are, doing a little bit of a warm up. As you guys know, I always like do the exercise itself and warm up with that and just to loosen up areas. And it's winter time, it's cold, so I need to warm up properly. Um, get that the, the joints and everything lubricated until we start working our weight up so normally what i do is i normally do like one plate seven reps two plates seven reps but as you can see right now i'm just banging out one rep for each it's like i, I could feel that i'm gonna gonna i just wanted to preserve my energy in a way because i feel like i always exhaust myself before i get there um normally people like pyramid up to like their top working set um, and they do that for one set and then they pyramid back down Whereas in this case, I was doing just one reps um, the whole way. Here I'm doing 180 and it felt good. And I was like, okay, we're going for that 200. So that's what your boy did. And <laughs> uh, you see me laughing in it. So you know that something happened here. But no, wait, this is 180. Okay, my bad. But as you can see, I'm doing 180 again. But this time I'm moving it for, that's three reps. That's four reps. Oh, you got you got okay four we stopped at four but i definitely had a couple more here's the 200 boom definitely had a couple more in the tank but i was like no 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 we're not gonna go to failure none of that we're not gonna preserve it for that 200 because i really want that 200k um for reps 200 kg for reps here we go tighten up you know got tighten up pull that sh there you go boy pull it come on yeah that's two what you got three what you got? Oh, come on. One more. Yes. Your boy's banging at 200 kg for reps. I can't remember last time I did that. Um, this is a second set for it from the back. Um, I did three different angles. So I did three working sets for five. 200 kg for five is mad. Um, obviously my form I feel like I do need to bring down my legs a little bit more but obviously not like in a squat um, because obviously that's that's too deep but I feel like yeah a good that's, that's 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 a good that's a good position you know just a little little tweaks but it's the reason why you record yourself so you can see okay where can I improve what can I do better um, it did feel good though I didn't have actually no pain in my lower back which is good um, when it comes to deadlifting don't want to always have that bad pain if you have bad pain i mean you need to fix up that form but yeah the key was just basically lock in tighten up and just breathe you know just exhale 
you can see look boom holding that breath in and just pulling just literally yanking it off the floor like not thinking about it just pull it you know in the words of Simeon Panda just yank it it's that first part that's difficult but once you get it you got it yank so that was four normally people would have stopped there but your boy was like no I've been doing five five I've got to do one more five I got to <laughs> took a little bit longer but I sucked it up and then boom oh squeezed it out your boy's getting strong that's what I'm saying your boy's getting stronger <laughs> anyways after that i moved on to hip thrust now i never hip thrust i never have hip thrust but i've put it into my program so right now i'm still trying to adapt to the actual exercise just get used to the whole movement of the exercise um yeah i'm not like these females out here that i'll be doing like what 200 kg and stuff no no no. my hips don't work like that yo <laughs> and, and my glutes ain't like that either obviously with fitness it's all about muscle memory and how many times you do something you know repetition 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 in order to get better at the exercise i'm um, here we're doing stiff legged deadlifts as you can see i'm tall and i want to go a little bit further with the bar so that's why i've raised it up so I, the bar can go down instead of touching the floor um but yeah that was pretty much it i didn't want to record everything but i just wanted to be in and out because this is not the topic of the video uh, thank you guys for watching and let's carry on with the video good session really good session i didn't record the whole workout i just recorded parts because my training split is basically the same like i haven't changed anything this is what i want to talk to you guys about the training program is it working let me just say yes it is working why simply because i've never actually tracked my workouts i've checked it in my mind you know i know what exercises i do when i go to the gym and sometimes i add more sets more reps but i don't really know deep down if i'm actually making progress because i'm not actually tracking you know i'm not tracking how many sets i'm doing how many reps i'm doing um i'm, I'm not doing the same exercises all the time sometimes i change it up whereas with this program the exercises that i've put in the program is the exercises i'm going to be doing for the next 12 to 16 weeks not changing nothing every exercise as it is is what i'm going to be doing every week the smart thing that i've done with this program is of course i know i've been training for a while i've been training since i was 16 i've been training 16 to 21 it was on and off you know i was on the gym then i wouldn't go to the gym for like three months and i'll go to the gym whereas when i came to denmark 2015 from 2015 to 2019 it's been very consistent you know the first year took me a while to get back into the routine but after that it was minimum five days a week in the gym i've been training for a while checking macros as well i've only been doing that for like three years really so you can kind of say i'm new to the fitness thing but i'm not new to fitness i'm new to this whole tracking world so tracking my training for the first time i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's working i am getting stronger my body fat is going down but my weight is staying the same that, that that's that's just beautiful that just means muscle tissue is growing my body is growing this is what happens when you start tracking things you know you can see the progress happening whether it's more reps with the same weight or the weights going up um with maybe the less reps or the rest periods going down in the amount of sets you're doing all that stuff matters and i'm starting to see it now because i'm actually tracking and this is only week five we've completed week five today as you saw Previously, my deadlift gone up. I'm deadlifting 200 kg for reps. Like, I, I was not doing that back in the day. There was a time when 180 was a problem. <laughs> and now I'm deadlifting 200 kg for reps for multiple sets. My PR is 240 for one rep. And if I'm repping 200 kg, I know that when I try my one rep max soon, it should be at least 250 plus. I, I have to rip it off the ground. <laughs> basically that's really what i wanted to say i wanted to say my training program you know I've, this is the first time me actually keeping my exercises as they are i'm also doing a push pull leg program you know that's not something i normally do i normally do chest and back shoulders and arms and then legs um and I, then i repeat it so like i used to go to the gym six days in a row whereas now i'm going three days on one day off so my rest the amount of rest I get is a bit more um, compared to before where I used to get one day. Now it's every fourth day is a rest day. Um, and it seems to be working. My body's responding well to it, which is awesome. Definitely going to be keeping, keep this going. Of course, maybe when, when I get down the line, it might be just long. But it's actually not that long. Tracking my progress, tracking my reps and all that stuff. 
it really is it's fun i'm actually enjoying it and which is key if i wasn't enjoying this i probably would have stopped a long time ago um but i'm actually enjoying it which is key to anything you're doing if you're having fun and you're actually enjoying the challenge of it great things will happen definitely give it a go you know make a nice good program for yourself um a program that's you're not just comfortable with it like there's a lot of exercises i'm doing right now that i'm not comfortable with but i want to improve in them like let's say military press i've never been good at the military press and i really want to get better at it and better form more weight hip thrust i've never done hip thrust in my life and i've added that to my program overhead pullovers you know i'm doing more and more of that now um a lot of shoulder work because i was i want to get my shoulders more rounded and bigger there's a lot of exercise i've put into my program that i would know i wouldn't normally do that i'm like pushing myself to do and get better at it like things that military press great exercise why am i not doing it i should be doing it so that's why i put it in the program i was like you have to like i don't care if you don't like it get it done the only exercise i haven't got in my program is flat bench um i don't normally f i don't i just don't like the flat bench i'm not gonna lie to you guys i just don't you know um so i've chosen incline instead uh, but yeah, overall program definitely great. I am getting stronger. I know it's only week five. We're going into week six um, The key with this thing is hopefully that the key is for me to get strong By the end of the whole 12 to 16 weeks, you know, what I mean I want to be able to move way more weight for reps because you obviously you guys know I'm all about high volume so Already me trying to go for strength is already taking me out of my comfort zone having to stick to like four to eight reps I don't normally do that. I'm normally one of them 10 to 15 reps, you know, for like six, seven sets, you know, just going at it. Um, but now it's like, okay, four to eight reps, got to rest like two minutes, one minute. You know I mean? I should track my rest and everything. So yeah, I'm definitely out of my comfort zone, but I am enjoying the challenge. And let's see, isn't it? I'm, it's week five. I'm feeling good, you know, feeling strong. Got a little bit of flu right now, but I'm feeling good. That's what I'm saying, and hopefully we can keep this up. Um, I'm I'm not feeling to stop anytime soon. I'm um, great seeing my progress as well with the, the thing I have now. I have on a computer, now I'm a notebook. If I had a notebook, I would have lost it a long time ago. Uh, actually, today's session, I actually need to document that as well. Uh, but yeah, that's what I wanted to say, guys. Hopefully, you guys are motivated now to try and track your training um, and see how much progress you're actually making. We all know that one person that's like, oh, I'm not growing, I'm not getting bigger. And then you ask him, are you tracking your training? Or you, or what are you doing? Like, how are you eating? Like, what, what's your training split? They're like, uh, I just go to the gym and yeah, I train chest on this day. And then I feel like training that, you know, there's no structure. So how are you going to know if you're making progress? That's it. Thank you for watching. Love life. Love life. Love life. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. We out. Peace.